What's up Star Wars nerds and welcome back to Bread on Fett. Just a quick video today guys. We gotta talk about this new TVC Boba Fett that went on pre-order today. You guys ready? Let's get to it. Alright guys and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 2 of Bread on Fett. Thanks for joining me. And like I was saying, this is just going to be a quick video. I want to talk about this new pre-order for the TVC Boba Fett Morak that went on sale today. And last night, kind of unexpectedly, we found out that there was going to be this pre-order for a new Boba Fett on, assumingly, a Mandalorian card. So I was super excited. And then later we found out that it was going to be another Target exclusive. No! 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 Needless to say, that's a bit of a letdown being a Target exclusive because now it's going to be so much harder for most people to get a hold of it retail and they end up paying scalper prices. So it's a bit disappointing on a main character being exclusive like that. I, for one, did not get one. I tried. It sold out in one minute. Wasn't able to get it. Disappointed. But life goes on. Aside from the disappointment of it being a Target exclusive, I wanted to talk a little bit about why with this figure release I'm either going to be extremely excited or extremely concerned. So let's start off with what I'm not going to be concerned about and that's the look of the figure. This is a great sculpt. I love the soft goods, the posability, and the head sculpts is just they're just getting better and better with that photo reel technology. So going back to December, Hasbro released a series of deluxe figures that came in these special boxes that are windowless, bubbleless, just a solid box with a picture, a uh, nice picture and everything. Um, the last one they released was a Boba Fett Tatooine. And, you know, I have no issues with the box themselves. I'm just slightly concerned as a mint on card collector that they may go to this trend of producing figures in solid boxes and going along with that whole thing about Hasbro reducing their plastics for the environment. And again, these are fine as a separate thing, but for a mint on card collector, I need a regular traditional card with a figure on a bubble so I can display the figure. Because the way I see it, guys, if you're a mint on card collector, a figure in a box like this might as well be empty if you can't see the actual figure and if you're not going to take it out of the box. So even though Hasbro is calling this new Boba Fett also a deluxe figure because of the accessories. I don't think that automatically means the new Boba Fett is actually going to come in a box just like this last one, the Tatooine one did. I actually don't think Hasbro would do that to us. The figures are too similar and they have to know that the majority of collectors want it mint on card with a view bubble. Giving us two similar Boba Fetts in a row, both in a box like this, would be too evil, even for Hasbro. I just don't see them doing it. And in fact, I think what they're going to do is actually give us the new Boba Fett on a card back, but it's going to be a deluxe style card back, similar to the Sith Trooper Armory pack and the Din Djarin with Child pack that you know both have these larger bubbles that allowed for accessories so i really think they're gonna do that and i think they're gonna put it on a mandalorian card back since it's boba fett morak morak is a planet he visited with the mandalorian on the show and i really think it's going to be this identical card back that we've already seen that they're using for the upcoming retro collection boba fett morak so i think this is what we're going to get guys but just with a wider bubble with the extra accessories and if i'm right i'm going to be really excited to have that and if i'm wrong about this guys and they do end up putting this new boba fett morak in a box just like the Tatooine Boba Fett. I really think us mint on card collectors are in trouble. I, I think that speaks volumes for them to do that for two Boba Fetts in a row. And I think it could mean that unless there's a big change with the management at Hasbro, that the plan could be to phase out the traditional card backs on plastic bubbles in favor of those solid boxes. And that's concerning, and I think that would probably be the end of my collecting 
uh, at least for the vintage collection. So I'm really hoping I'm right about this, guys, and we're going to get this new Boba Fett Morak on a card back. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you agree with me on my prediction for the packaging on this figure. And if you don't agree, and you think it is coming in another box, let me know if you think that means something for the future of TVC. Thanks for tuning in again, guys, and I'll see you next time.